drop the brace. Hey guys, Mike here from Full House RS, and welcome to part 7 of my Barrow's Bounty series. The series in which I'm trying to get one of every Barrow's Brother item, except for Accuracy, because I don't have him unlocked yet. We'll be adding him to the later episodes. But I am starting to get back to this because I took a little break there so I could go and work on 80+, plus, and then Divination came out, and I had to go work on that for a bit. And while I am taking a slight break from that now to work on this, I'm hoping to get them both into the schedule so I can work on both at the same time. So this week I have four items. They were not new items. I've They are items that I've already had before. Nothing new this week. But they are decent items nonetheless. And they add to the total items that I've got here. So let's go ahead and get on into it and start this episode off right. Okay, so the first item that we have up in this video is a pair of Torag legs. Which is my third pair of legs from Torag. And... What can I say, really? They're they're pretty cheap, and I guess they're not really worth that much, but some people go forever without getting an item. Next up on the items that I got this week, this one was a little bit better, and by little bit I mean very slightly. We get a Varric Brassard, which is our third Varric Brassard. It's pretty weird that we're getting up there with that many items when there are still some items that I haven't even got once. So then it was around this point that I started to get back into Barrows, and Barrows really knows how to get me to enjoy Barrowing again when they give me my fourth Aram's book of the series. Four books. Oh, wow. I, I I was laughing, as you can see in the chat right there. I couldn't believe I got the book, and I just kind of felt that I was going to get the book when I got it, too. I, I don't know. I'm speechless when I got it, and I'm kind of speechless now. Unfortunately, it did sell for the least amount of any of the books that I sold for. It sold for 86 but it's still the best Barrows item that I can get, and I am still very happy that I got it. And the last item that I have for this video was about six runs after the book, and I get a Carol's Offhand Pistol Crossbow, which is not that bad. It is around 1.2 mil. I don't know if it sells for that much, but I'm keeping this one, so it is the bank value that adds to my bank at the moment, and so I'm going to go with that. Unfortunately, that's all the items that I have this week. As I just came back, I didn't have enough time to do a whole bunch of runs. I did about... 50 runs or something like that, which is still quite a bit for Barrows, but I didn't have enough time to sit down and just keep doing it all day like I used to. But of course, up on the screen right now, we have the stats of all the items that I've got right now. It's nice to see that times four next Aram's book because I could keep getting those and I'd be very happy even if their price fell to like five mil or something. I would love it. Um, I did say to myself now that if I get my another Aram's book, I'm going to be keeping it and I'm not going to be selling it. Because even if it goes up again, it would probably not reach as high as the other ones did. And I kind of want to get one that I, so that I can keep for myself. So yeah, I've made the choice that next book that I get, I am definitely keeping it. And now watch it be the last item that I get in the series. Even though I've technically already got it before. So don't have to worry about that being the last item that I ever get. That being said, I really wish we would get something from Darux. We've only got two items from him so far, and he is the one that's lacking the most now. Aram and Carol are still way oversaturated with how many items I've got from there, but I guess, like I said, I'm not going to complain too much. Now, of course, it is time for what I always do at the end of the video. I check how much money that I have gotten from Barrows, so let's throw up the price checker real quick. This is from the items that I have sold, and I keep a tally in my notes to make sure exactly how much coin I've gotten from selling the items. And then these are the rest of the items, so let's throw those in real quick. Chaos runes, mind runes, which I'm going for 1 million mind runes, so I really need to go and do those uh, tasks that I can get double runes with, so I can reach 1 million of those easier than doing it now, but... It is not a big priority because I'll eventually get it no matter what I do. Uh, do do this. Torag. And boom. So I have broken 115 mil doing barrows and that is pretty good. So based on my usual time that I take to do barrows, which is about five minutes, that means I am making roughly 2.6 mil an hour at barrows which is still really good. It is down from my 3 mil that I was making previously, 
but it is still way over anything that I'd really want to do right now. I could start doing QBD once I get super anti-fires, but I enjoy Barrows way more than any other thing in the game at the moment, and so as long as I keep doing that and having fun, I could easily keep doing Barrows till 500 mil if I wanted to. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully I will be able to make a new one next week. And until next time, this is Mike from Full House RS, and I will see you in the next video.